Today we're going to talk about how to find grams of something if we're given moles of something else, or moles of something else if we're given grams of something. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, figure out exactly how to do that. This does happen in real life. Sometimes um, I know how many grams of reactant I have available in the storeroom and I know that I need a particular number of moles uh, of something else to be produced. So I need to do that math. And that means that on top of it being a different type of compound, I also have a different unit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at an example problem that would uh, give us this type of uh, multi-step uh, disagreement over the units, all that kind of stuff. So our example problem says how many moles of sodium fluoride, NAF, are produced using 23.1 grams of sodium chloride, NaCl. So here we see, oh man, we have two different, uh, two different compounds here, and we're also given a different unit than what we wanted. That means we have to go through multiple steps. Every time that you see grams anywhere in a problem at all whatsoever it doesn't matter the kind of problem where it is you need to think molar mass as soon as you see grams you know you have to get out of grams we can't relate compounds directly gram to gram we have to go through a ratio of mole to mole which means we need to get out of grams and we need that molar mass to do that and anytime that you see two different compounds you're gonna need to think I need a balanced chemical equation. I need to be able to find what my ratio is between these uh, molecules so that I can make sure that my answer is correct. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna uh, be given a balanced chemical equation right now. And that's gonna be for every two sodium chlorides, um, I react with one fluorine. I produce two sodium fluorides and one chlorine. Okay, we're going to go ahead and again connect the compounds that we actually care about, which is going to be sodium chloride and sodium fluoride. And we're going to go ahead and create those multiple ratios. So that means I need them both ways. I'm going to say for every two moles of sodium chloride, I have two moles of sodium fluoride or for every two moles of sodium fluoride, I have two moles of sodium chloride. Those are gonna be our mole to mole ratios that we can use in this problem. And then we need to figure out that molar mass for the compound that was given to us in the wrong, wrong units, okay? Here we have sodium chloride and it's given in grams. Our number given is in grams, which means that we need the molar mass of sodium chloride. I went ahead and calculated that off screen. The molar mass of sodium chloride is going to be 58.443 grams per mole sodium chloride. And then let's go ahead and turn it into uh, the ratio form. We have two ways of writing it again. We can either say for every 58.443 grams of sodium chloride, I have one mole of sodium chloride, or we could say for every one mole of sodium chloride, I have 58.443 grams of sodium chloride. Remember, it's the same information. The only difference is what order I'm saying it in. Okay, our very last step is to just go ahead and translate our English problem into a math problem. Remember that our question word gets turned into X and our unit connected to the question gets turned into this. So how many moles of NAF turns into X moles NAF are produced using turns into equals and 23.1 grams of sodium chloride gets to stay the same as 23.1 grams of sodium chloride. Once I have my actual setup down, I can choose my appropriate ratios that allow for cancellation of units, which means I'm gonna look for something that will allow me to cancel grams of sodium chloride, which would be the one with gram sodium chloride on the bottom here. So I will end up choosing this multiple or this ratio. And 
then I will have moles of sodium chloride on the top. So that means I need to choose the one that will allow me to cancel moles of sodium chloride, which means I will choose the second ratio version. So this is just me plugging it in. As you can see, I needed to cancel out grams of sodium chloride, chose the one with grams of sodium chloride at the bottom. Great, I can cancel that now. I needed to cancel moles of sodium chloride, so I chose the one with moles of sodium chloride at the bottom. Great, I can cancel that now. And now I'm left with moles of sodium fluoride, which is the thing that I said that I wanted, which means that I am done. I can go ahead and solve, round, and apply my appropriate units. I am done with the setup. Now, whenever we plugged it into the calculator, Remember, we write down every single number that comes out of the calculator. So that's 0 0.39525619. When I do that, I go ahead and I round. I decided I wanted to round to two decimals today, so that's going to be 1, 2. 9 is the last number I care about. I look over to see if I need to round up. 5 does make me round up. This means that I not only change that 9, I'm also going to have to change that 3. This will turn my number into 0.5. 4 moles of sodium fluoride.